In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this AI-based animated video in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so before we get started, let me just tell you how I got these images. So I used Gemini, Google Gemini, to get these two images. This is the prompt that I used, and this is the image that I got. And then I just said to remove the image, the Samurai image from the front and just leave the background and that's it. So just to give you an idea of how you can get these sorts of images from Google Gemini and then you can import them in DaVinci Resolve. By the way, you don't have to do this again. I have a link in the description where you can go ahead and download these assets for free. And besides these two images, I also have this footage for these leaves. So this is also something we can use as the overlay. But anyways, once you have downloaded these assets, then you can go ahead, import them in DaVinci, and you can just go with default settings with the timeline. The first thing that you can do is drag in the background. So let's drag this in, change the zoom so that this fits in the screen, and then drag in our Samurai image. Position him using the Y right here. So right now, if you play this, you will notice nothing happens. This is just static images. Then how do we animate it? So the trick is to have some, some sort of an image where you can have, for example, this cape right here. This samurai has some sort of a cape or cloth right here that we can just animate and we can also animate his hat. So something that doesn't move him altogether, but just moves the di different things that he has, things that he's wearing. Or we could, we could have even moved the sword as well with the hand as well, but we just need to show basic movement. And we can do that by using the cape or the cloth or the hat. So we're going to do the, both the hat and the cape. The way you can do that is first of all, right click on the Samurai image, then click on open in Fusion page. Now, once you are in the Fusion page, let's zoom this in. Now, while you have this media in selected, press control space and search for babiness. Let me just connect it. So right now, if you play this, this works on the whole image. The babiness is acting on the whole image we don't need that so for that you can just drag in this polygon make sure to unselect the shape animation and connect this with the waviness and now let's go ahead and draw a shape around this cape so i'm going to start right here where the, there is this sword we don't want to cover the sword we just want the cape right here so you can go ahead and trace something like this And you don't have to go all the way up. We just need to show the lower part moving. So I think this would work. And then right here, we can just move this all the way out like this. Bring this right here and then connect this right here. So now if we play this right now, you will notice that only the cape is moving, but this doesn't look very good. Now for that, just select the waviness. First of all, change this to horizontal. For the scale, let's change this to 30. For the strength, let's change this to 1.1. And let's keep the phase at 0 and speed at 0 0.2 as well. So right now, if you play this, you will get this subtle movement. And you will notice that this looks very good. It doesn't look very unnatural. It kind of matches with the... It kind of looks real. So anyways, we have this nice animation. And now we need to do the same thing for the hat. For this one, select your waviness, press control space, and this time we're going to be using the grid warp. So make sure this is connected, then go over to the selected. Increase the grid size, both on the X and the Y. And then you can just go ahead and use any point, just select any point, and if you move this, you will see that the hat is moving. So right now, we're going to be using some keyframes using this mesh animation. Let's go over at zero, create a keyframe right here. Let's first of all, select this, move this up. Let's select this, move this up. Let's select both of these and move them down. So here we can just show a subtle movement of this hat. You don't need to do too much on it. Just only do subtle, otherwise this will not look good. Now let's go over at 10 and then move them back to their position. Somewhere around here. And then select these two and move them back to their position as well. Now let's go over at 20, do the same thing again. And you get the idea. We're just going to do this again and again 
to show this kind of a movement. So let me just go ahead and quickly do that. All right, so I have done this. Let me just play this right here. So you will also notice there is some movement in the hair as well. It will kind of show that there is air that's making the hat move and also the cape move. So right now, if we see the whole thing, you will notice the cape is moving as well and the hat is also moving. So we had the animation done for this samurai. Let's go back to the edit page and see. Right now, you will notice this is how it looks. All right, now let's go ahead and drag in this leaves footage. And let's cut this from here. And for removing the background, just go over to the effects and just search for Luma. You need to go over at Resolve FX and then you will find this Luma gear. Just drag this on leaves and then just select this. Actually, you need to go right here where it says Transform, then change this to Open FX Overlay. Then just click on right here and that's it. The green screen will be gone. So now let's go back to the footage in the video and change the opacity to let's say 40. So if you play this right now, this is how it will look. And now we can go ahead, just add in some text. So I have this text right here. Let me just drag this. So for the text, I'm just using this font, modern number 20 at size 0 0.08. And then I just posi positioned it right here. And I also did some change with the H anchor right here. So I selected this left. One final thing is to add in this, go over to the effects and add in this adjustment clip. Connect this right here, go over to the dynamic zoom. Select this and click on swap. So if you play this right now, this is how it will look. Now, while you have this adjustment clip selected, let's go over to the color tab as well. And from here, let me just press Alt S to get add a new serial node. And let's go over to this curves. And I'm just simply going to increase this from here and decrease this from here. Something like this. Don't overdo it, just something like this to get a nice color grade. Now let's go back to the timeline and in the adjustment clip, I'm also going to add one more thing. Actually, we can do this right here in the color tab as well. We can go over to the effects and you can search for vignette. So let's drag this in, add two. Let's change the size. Actually, let me unselect this, undo this, add in a new serial node and then add with vignette so right here i'm just going to increase the size right here at 0 0.6 something and this one at 2 so i think this looks good let's go back and let's play this now so there you have it this is how you can animate these static images in davinci resolve if you like this video and would like to also get the project file you can go over to my Patreon and sign up where you can find not only this, but also many different projects that I do in my tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead, make sure to sign up so that you can get all the projects that I have right there in one place. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.